Number two says a lizard accelerates from 2 meters per second to 10 meters per second in 4 seconds. What's the lizard's average acceleration? Okay, so he accelerates from 2 to 10 in 4 seconds. So what I know is meters per second is a measurement of velocity, okay? And we want to know he's accelerating from 2 to 10. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to do um, from 2 to 10. So I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to find the difference between these two. I want to find the change in velocity, the change in velocity over here. So I'm going to write down 10 meters per second minus 2 meters per second. Okay? And if you subtract 2 from 10, um, you'll get 8, right? And so my change in velocity, he went from 2 to 10, so he changed by 8 meters per second. Alright? And I want you to box that in there. Cool, so we're looking at the change in time after that. Um, so we know from, we don't know where it started, but they just tell us four seconds. So that's the change in time that we have, four seconds, okay? And then we're finding the average acceleration, we don't know that yet. So let's go ahead and plug what we know into our equation, okay? We've got eight minutes per second is the change in velocity, and four seconds is the change in time. So I'll put a little squiggly here. I don't know my average acceleration yet, so I'm gonna write that, equals, Okay, change in velocity is 8 meters per second, all right? Change in time is 4 seconds. Cool, so let's bring it down here to divide. This is going to be a really easy problem. So average acceleration equals 8 meters per second divided by 4 seconds, okay? Um, we, can, we can do this one in our head, I think. So 4 goes into 8 two times, right? So what I'm going to get is I'm going to get 2 meters per second divided by seconds. Okay, we didn't do anything to these um, units, <clears throat> but we're going to combine them over here for the answer with units. So I'm going to rewrite what I have here. So I've got 2 meters per second divided by seconds, 2 meters per second per second. So I've got average acceleration A equals, so 2 meters per second divided by seconds. And that simplifies too, because we're dividing by seconds and seconds, so we're doing the same thing twice. That's going to simplify to um, 2 meters per second squared. And that is your final answer.